Hi children welcome back to the today's English class Children in our previous class we saw the poem the school boy from our textbook honey dew As a continuation in this session we are going to see the summary of the poem the school boy and its poetical device with the rhyming scheme Let's start with the session today To begin with let's listen to the introduction by the teacher As a recap, children, let's see a video of this poem, "The Schoolboy," written by William Blake. In this media, you will learn about the explanation of the poem, "The Schoolboy." A schoolboy likes the morning time very much. He likes to see the trees and the birds. The sound from the huntsman's horn seems to be pleasant to him. He wants to join with the skylark while it is singing. he feels that the nature offers him a sweet company however he has to spend his morning hours in school which worries him a lot both books and teachers lecture do not interest him he feels that the child's pleasure lies in being free and happy like a bird he also feels a child in a school is similar to a bird in a cage he feels that parents of small children should understand their mistakes parents should not deprive their child's happiness depriving is like squeezing the buds from the plants he feels that without a happy childhood the world becomes a sorrowful place for the child he concludes that without a happy child we should only have winter of sorrow also we would never have a summer of joy thus you have learned the explanation of the poem the school boy children let's start with the summary of the poem now the speaker in this poem is a young boy who is at school in the summer morning he can't focus in class because he wants to play outside and enjoy the weather he feels like a bird trapped in a cage towards the poem's end the boy wonders how children can grow and thrive if they are not allowed to enjoy the summer this poem is about allowing children to be children and to run and play outside to experience the beauty of nature children Now let's discuss the poetic device used in this poem. First one is imagery. Imagery is a poetic device where through words the poet tries to create an image in the reader's mind. Examples for imagery in our poem are mood of summer morning, the birds singing, the huntsman who blows his horn the shylark singing with the schoolboy are all the examples of imagery metaphor metaphor is a poetic device where two things are compared with each other for their similarities examples for metaphors are how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing if buds are nipped and blossoms blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and cares dismay now in both these paragraphs metaphor is used because here the poet is comparing the schoolboy with the birds in the cage and plants that are nipped nipped means cut off the third one is alliteration 
Alliteration is a repetition of being consonant sounds of the words that come one after the other. Examples for alliteration in this poem are Shailak sings whereas Sir sound is repeated. Blossoms blown whereas Burr sound is repeated. These are the examples of alliteration in the poem. Now let's discuss the rhyming scheme of this poem. A rhyming scheme is the pattern of rhymes at the end of each line of a poem or a song. It is usually referred to by using letters to indicate which lines rhyme. Lines designated with the same letter all rhyme with each other lines designated with the same letter all rhyme with each other for example if the last word rhymes with the next line last word then they are given the same letter otherwise they are given different letters let's try to find out the rhyme scheme of the first stanza of this poem let's try to find out the rhyming scheme of the first stanza of this poem i love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn and the shylark sings with me oh what sweet company i love to rise in a summer morn the first line is always given with the letter a when the birds singing on every tree now the word tree does not rhyme with the word morn of the first line therefore i am giving it a new letter b the distant huntsman winds his horn now horn rhymes with morn in the first line which already has a letter a now since they both rhyme i'll give the same letter a to the third line also and the shylark sings with me here me rhymes with tree therefore i'll give fourth line letter b oh what sweet company now company also rhymes with me and tree and therefore i am giving it the same letter b so the rhyme scheme of this stanza becomes a b a b b so children in this session we have seen the summary and the poetic device along with its rhyming scheme of the poem the school boy written by William Blake I'll catch you with another video soon until then